with Maria Larino, the author of the most recent book, uh, The Italian Americans of History. Prior to that, Maria has written um, Were You Always Italian? Um, memoir? Yeah, interconnected personal interconnected essays. Personal essays. And then uh, Old World Daughter, New World Mother, mm -hmm. uh, a book that I found absolutely fascinating, even though I'm not a daughter or a mother. <laughs> um, how different is this book from what you did before? Well, it, it's interesting for me because I, I sort of did this backwards, which is that this is a history of Italian Americans, and usually you think you would write that first, but I had done two personal essay memoir projects first. Um, but this is a companion book to a forthcoming PBS documentary, and I was asked uh, to write it, and it was just a great project, and I learned so much. I, it was interesting to write the history and then and learn so much more of, of your, your family and yourself through that. John Maggio, who wrote the documentary, um, wanted this to be a companion and follow his story. So he basically gave me the scaffolding for the book. And what John had asked me to do was to just go deeper into the project, because even PBS in four hours, there's only so much history you can tell. And I had two goals, and John shared those goals with me, so it made it easier, in that I didn't want it to be nostalgic, sort of this, this dip into nostalgia so much of these so many of these projects often can be and I wanted to really try to strip away the stereotypes that have haunted us most of the chapters mirror the story in the documentary I added a chapter on the Italian American counterculture because there were figures who were just so interesting that was a, a really a fun addition we wanted to make it also vi visually interesting so in addition to the chapters there are these interviews and there are these short biographies you started out writing about your own experiences and then now you're writing about kind of the broader experience. Mm -hmm. What was it like moving from the personal to the larger? Yeah, well, one example that, that comes to mind that was really powerful for me was the enemy alien story. Now, I had very little knowledge of this, so I began to research. And as I'm reading this, it occurs to me, well, my grandmother must have been an enemy alien. My mother always said she was illiterate. She signed her name with an X. I, I never knew that. You know, and I called my mother, and I was lucky that my mother was still there. You know, she was a little over 90, and I asked her, and she said, wow, that's so interesting you asked me that, because it was really scary for our family during the war. And she remembered the day. My brother came upstairs in the apartment, and he said, Mama may have to go back to Italy. And she said, we were terrified. Well, that's this piece of history that I had no clue about. And it was just an amazing, it was a really moving experience. What could you put into this book that you didn't? If there was going to be a part two, what would you have? Um, I think I'd like to have done more on race and race relations. Um, I think more on immigration. Uh, I think it would be interesting to reflect on Italy today and its own immigration problems and see that as a kind of mirror to the Italian-American experience. Um, those are some of the issues that you know are, are very important to me. You've gone to Italy to promote this uh, this documentary, haven't you? And they, yes, they set up, we did something at the American Embassy. And what about the book? Um, the book was not out then, it wasn't out. Um, but what I always find interesting is, you, I would think that Italians would want to know more about Italian American history. But I just know from personal experience that whenever I go to Italy, they always say to me, you know, why do you think you're Italian? You know, you're not Italian. You're, you know, and they don't see any connection right, between right, Italian right. and American. I mean, when I was a kid, I thought I was Italian. I went to Italy, I realized I was, I was American. I came back to America. I said, well, wait a minute, I'm not American. I'm, so this is how I forged my Italian American yes. identity. But you know, every family in Italy has some story or some connection to a story of immigration to the United States. And over the last 10 or 15 years, I found it's not the professors, it's not the journalists, it's the young students who want to know. They want to know about their uncle who went to America and never came back and nobody ever talks about. You spent, how long was it, a couple of years doing this research? And, and So what are you going to do next with this knowledge? Where are you going next with your, your work? Are you doing more writing about Italian Americans? Are you moving? To a halt. I don't know at this point. I'm thinking about that. All right, so take a break and, write, you know, <laughs> and I'm sure after this kind of work, I mean, uh, Maria Larino's *The Italian Americans: A History*, published by W. W. Norton. This book is a way for Italian Americans to gain a sense of self in history and a sense of the value of their contributions to American culture. <laughs>